The Seminole County Fire Department is asking the community to help get results for one of their own who was badly injured in a crash. Today, the department's hosting blood drives for the 25-year-old firefighter who's in critical condition right now. News 6's Mark Lehman is there with more on how you can help. An outpouring of support happening today here in Seminole County. Firefighters organizing an effort to bring in blood donations from throughout the community. This, as one of their own, is fighting for his life. It's a great thing. Oh, yeah. Great thing. I've always been into donating blood. Yeah. Friends, firefighters, and those in the community coming together, getting results, and honoring a Seminole County firefighter who's in the hospital. When something like this happens, it's like you said, a brotherhood, and everybody pitches in. Justin Esteras organizing two simultaneous blood drives happening in Castleberry and Sanford. It comes in support of his friend and fellow firefighter, Connor Fernandez, who was badly hurt in a motorcycle crash last week. It was a lot. I was shocked. Uh, something you don't really expect to hear at all, ever. Fernandez has been in critical condition, the 25-year-old undergoing surgeries, including amputation of his right leg. They're, they're very hopeful. Um, he's kind of, he's improved a lot. His condition's improved a lot than what he was Friday. Blood transfusions giving Fernandez a chance to survive. That's why those here are donating to pay it forward. Meanwhile, help has also been coming in through financial donations to help his family during this tough time. His mom's very thankful for the support, very overwhelmed with how much, you know, support that he's gotten and how many lives he's touched. Those here say they hope this will also serve as an inspiration for everyone to donate blood in the future. Meanwhile, support continues for Firefighter Fernandez. We posted a link to his family's GoFundMe page under this story on ClickOrlando.com. In Seminole County, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.